What's going on, everybody? It's me, Pigpen, the one and only. Welcome to Racing Rivals Live, episode 13. Can't believe we've made it all the way to episode 13. All <laughs> right, Draft Wheelie first. Hola, Maestro. Draft Wheelie, shout me out. You got a shout out, but maybe you want to uh, give you a shout out a little bit later on when there's more people watching. You kind of wasted your shout out here. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's good to see a lot of people joining. Um, so let me get right into today's live stream episode you suck pig pen slow ass cars yeah that's me <laughs> so um i want to introduce uh today's guest uh he's fellow youtuber justin hamadi how you doing justin uh glad to have you here um hope uh you're not too nervous <laughs> Yeah, so uh, for those of you who don't know Justin, let me give him a really quick intro. And uh, basically, I get a lot of people that tell me like, oh, we lo I love you, Pigpen. I love your YouTube channel. I watch you all the time, this and that. Well, guess what? Like, I am no different from anybody else. I go onto YouTube. I have my YouTube channels I watch. Well, uh, when it comes to racing rivals, I watch Justin's channel like uh i love your content justin it's really good um it just kind of draws me in and uh more important like i i really like the fact that like okay like when you race i like your dialogue like i have trouble sometimes racing and talking i kind of get like uh i stutter i stumble over my words and stuff you just have a way like i don't know your your, your dialogue's really good and i really like your content so like guys you got to We'll, we'll let Justin, uh, we'll let him plug in his channel here in a little bit, um, but I definitely uh, recommend his channel to anybody and everybody who's listening. If you like my stuff, uh, you're going to like his stuff twice as much, I guarantee it. So, uh, Justin, thanks for uh, joining me. Thanks for having me, Big uh, My pleasure. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we kind of talked earlier, and I want to ask, yes, it went from like, eight people watching to like 85 right boom just like that so uh don't don't get nervous now no but uh we did we talked a little bit beforehand and uh i want to kind of um ask you a question like uh how did you get into youtube uh how did you what was your this is how i i think i phrased it earlier what was your defining moment if there was one when you decided i'm gonna upload this video like what was it like what was your motivation well really what got me to start youtube was like i started getting into the top 100 teams and i was getting into high stakes picks and i was winning some pretty cool cars and i was like i was thinking like mm -hmm. what if i could record this and put it on youtube like i could get famous from this so like i started recording my videos and all that mm -hmm. and um Okay, so let's uh, go back to the beginning. How long have you been playing Racing Rivals, and how did you discover it? Well, I discovered Racing Rivals in around, like, sixth grade. Like, I, I played CSR at first. Like, that was, that was the crap for me. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, that's the thing, like, uh, I, I, 
I, I played, okay, I've never actually really played CSR or CSR 2. I did go on once and save my name Pigpen just because I thought uh, if I ever decided to do videos for it, I at least have my name uh, saved. And I did, I tried to race a little bit. I just didn't understand it, I guess. And I know maybe I didn't, uh, I didn't give it enough, you know, I didn't give it really a chance. I just kind of, um, you know tried it out for a few minutes i got bored if i would have stuck with it maybe the situation would be different but i didn't really get into it um pink i love pink slips and that's like the big thing for me like racing rivals has pink slips uh racing and um that's really the excitement for me like if it didn't have pink slips i probably i just wouldn't get that adrenaline rush when I race, so that's why I like racing rivals, um, real quick guys, I don't know if you watched, I hope you watched, if you didn't watch earlier, I was live streaming, I was doing some pink slip racing, uh, in Turf Wars, and I was racing the, uh, the Ford Focus RSRE, so a lot of people wanted, I know a lot, we, everybody got this car free, uh, but for some reason, people wanted me to give away the car they wanted like a car like a ford focus rsre um giveaway whatever so i figured okay so i had this one here this is a uh this lime green one this was the very last car i believe i be it was at the end of my uh, latest acquired uh on my account i transferred it over to this car or this account but uh it was the latest car acquired so i believe it was the very last car that i won in that live streaming episode um in which case i'm going to give this car away a little bit later on in the live stream um that way you know maybe that i think that'd be kind of cool somebody could get this car and say this is the car that pig pen won in the live stream i don't know maybe that's something you guys would like so uh i think later on uh I'll jump in a lobby and uh, we'll give this car away for uh, anybody who's interested, in that, of course. So, um, anyway, so um, let's get back to talking. Um, we could talk about the game all day long, Justin. Um, I know any time I have a guest on, like, and any time I talk to somebody, it's just like, it just comes naturally. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something a little different. I'm sure we're going to talk about the game, obviously, but um, I'd like to talk about I you're a, a fellow youtuber and I think it's gonna be really cool to talk about the YouTube aspect that a lot of people don't understand a lot of people don't have the knowledge about and just to kind of let people know like what it is like we go through what we do on a daily basis to put these videos up so <laughs> I'll let you get started like how how many like say for I know it's a little different here but and it varies but like for a, a video how many hours does it take you would you guess uh, to record up uh, edit and upload a video how long would you think it takes probably like if I spent time on a video and like spent time on the thumbnail mm -hmm. I can say an easy three and a half four hours for yeah sure. yeah it's a good video yeah I um for me, like if I'm, it, it honestly, it all depends on, um, for me, what car. If I'm doing a perfect launch tutorial, if it's a very difficult car, I could probably sit there and like I'd have to figure it out. I've never raced the car before, so I gotta practice it, figure out the best shifts, and finally, like okay, once I get the drop, I get the shifts, I get it all figured out. That could take who knows how long. I mean, it depends on the car. Some cars are more difficult than others but we'll just say an hour who knows i don't know it could take longer it could take quick you know a lot quicker but just that so then i have to set up my little recording studio i have my ipad and i have this rubber mat that i put it on so it doesn't slide around and i have a, a camera that's on a like a tripod thing hanging it's it's uh points down on my ipad so you can see me race and um so then i actually have to set it up uh and race and who knows? I mean, I might get it. The I have, a, I've gotten it like that perfect race. I have a script that I write too because I've tell you, I've had some really awesome runs that have uh, <laughs> I've blown them. I've I've ruined it because I didn't know what I was saying. I stumbled. I like said the wrong um, wrong shifts, the wrong drop, something stupid like that, you know. And I kind of ruined it. So then I I watch and I go crap I can't use that I totally screwed up like I called the car the wrong car or you know I just I did something so, so now 
I've, I've done that enough where I'm like, you know what, not doing it anymore. So I write out a script. And I know it sounds stupid, but I have a script there. And I go, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Pigpen, the one and only. Today's car is the blah, blah, blah. We're going to do blah, blah, blah with it. It shifts at blah, blah. And I have it all there so I don't mess it up. Because I may have to say it one time. I may have to say it 15, 20 times, depending, just to get that perfect run. And then afterwards, like I kind of... Uh, uh, um, ad lib a little bit at the end there, you know, after the race, oh, this is the, you know, the Ford Focus RSRE, real fun car, this and that. So there's another, that that could take a couple of hours to get that done. And then to edit it, you know, <laughs> then the thumbnails, then to upload it. And it's just like, people don't realize like the massive amount of time it takes to put together a, just one video for a YouTube channel. So and there's times I'd like, I'm putting the cha- I'm putting the video together. It's like, I just want to sit down and race, man. Like there's an event, like there's an, like today I was like, there's an event, like right before we started talking, um, turbo event. I was like, I just want to race turbo. So I sat down and I'm like, I should probably get ready for my live stream. Should really do it. But nope, I, I want to, I want to race. I want to win some cars I win some money, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. <laughs> that was so hard. Like, where's this? Like, no one else, like, where's this uh, video? Where's this video at? I think it's like my second upload ever. I'm gonna. If you, yeah, if you look at that. I wonder. I recorded it with a camera. And oh my gosh, it's cringe. I. You know, it's funny. Is uh, my admin Todd Hardway Jr. on uh, my uh, Facebook group? He had a contest. This, I don't know, must have been like a year or so ago. It was a while ago. But he had a contest where uh, it was a pig pen uh, impersonation contest. And, oh, man, it was it was hysterical. So I'm, I'm going to check it out. I want to definitely um, <laughs> check it out. So, uh, hey, did you, did you put uh, the link to your YouTube channel in the chat yet? Yeah, I'm gonna. While we're talking, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna copy and paste it. I'll put it in there. We'll. Uh, I'll kind of. Um, I'll kind of. There we go. I'm gonna kind of put it in there a few times during the live stream. That way, people can copy and paste it and open it up in another window, so they have access to your channel. Uh, which uh, I gotta say, I really, really enjoy your uh, your content. Like, uh, it's entertaining. Like, mine are tutorials like I don't find them to be too entertaining that's just me but like oh here's how you launch the car here's how you shift it you know okay that's great but you like I I could actually sit down and like turn off the TV put on my iPad or my phone go to your YouTube channel and just watch it and be entertained like it's entertaining it captures my attention it's captivating you know and that's what I that's what I like about it so uh, I, I just want to share that with everybody here we go there's the uh, here's the link guys to Justin's uh, YouTube channel strongly recommend at some point not right now don't go anywhere but I strongly recommend <laughs> yeah I Definitely uh, recommend that you uh, check it out at some time. Um, good stuff, really good stuff. Uh, do you have like a certain type of video that you prefer more than others, or do you have a car that you prefer to record more than others? How does that work? Well, for me, like I like recording with at first with an easy car, and then I gradually get to harder cars like the Zonda. Mm-hmm. Like, much luck with the Bentley um, I don't know if it's just me but I just don't have much luck with it like I don't know
I like winning them. Winning Bentleys is always fun, but racing them, I, maybe I need just a little, little bit more practice with it. I just had a killer run. I'm sitting there as we're chatting. I'm just kind of racing. And uh, I got a freaking 6.639 with the Ford Focus RSRE. Wow. That was pretty good. I just seen that on my phone. Like, uh, I have the stream running on my phone on chatting. <laughs> oh, I just blown away. Like, usually, like, it's actually... It's not giving me the usual lag for some reason. I usually get, like, a really bad lag and uh, maybe it's because I'm on the test track but yeah that's no but my uh, my NOS failed <laughs> I probably missed it that's all right um so let's see let's let's talk YouTube like uh, people are asking I saw somebody said if people get banned for you uh, people rumors people getting banned for recording have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. Where did I see that? Who, uh... I haven't heard of that at all. I don't think... I don't really know anything about it. I guess the master said, like, if they find out you're using a third-party program, aka Blue Sacks, Yeah. or something like that, like what I'm using, you can get banned. I mean, I, I haven't gotten banned yet, but... Huh. I don't know. We'll see what goes down. Yeah, Dirty Hammer, you better, I was going to say, Dirty Hammer, you better get your uh, point men, but you already got it for uh, this week. He's on my uh, High Rollers team. I opened it up again this week, so uh, people could uh, race uh, with with me, and uh, Dirty Hammer, he was like at 15,000 points last time I saw, so that was pretty cool. Um so you, let's see here, uh, people getting banned, I don't know, I haven't heard about anybody getting banned for recording, um, I don't know where that's coming from, but, uh, I hope it's not true, I don't think it is, I think it's just these rumors that people start up, oop, did I even, I didn't mean to start another race, <laughs> Well, That's kind of weird. from what I hear, um, on Android, or no, I'm sorry, we'll start off with iOS. With Apple, when you race, um, when you get a, a zero point, I get you get a zero point zero 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 RT. You can see it on the top left hand corner when you're racing, and I've seen it. A, I've seen it like since that last update. I've seen it a a ton, and what happens is. Apple, from my understanding, and I could be completely way off, but Apple rounds up to 0 .001, all right? No problem. But Android, on the other hand, for whatever reason, doesn't round up, and therefore it gives you a zero reaction time, which triggers the, uh, the tie, or whatever it is. And I don't know. I don't know if that. How, I don't know how, how true that is. So, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, R S R E Pink My Zonda. <laughs> so, but uh, I don't know, man. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I keep uh, hitting a, a new test track. I don't want to race. So, but anyways, guys, if you didn't watch my live streaming episode earlier, I strongly recommend you give it a shot, watch it again, watch it for the first time. If you haven't, um, raced the RSRE in, um, uh, turf just earlier this afternoon. Um, had a lot of fun, uh, talked with a lot of people. It was just good time all around. So, um, definitely check that out. Um, so Justin, what do you have planned? This is a tough one and I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'm going to put you on the spot. What do you have planned for your YouTube channel in the, uh, the, the upcoming, do you like, what's your goal really? Uh, 
Do you have a long-term well, goal? I do, and it's going to, like, you guys are going to hate what I'm going to say, but eventually I'm probably going to change my life Similar, I have actually a very similar goal. Um, I really, I plan on making Racing Rivals videos for as long as I can, as long as the game's around. And if you would have asked me a couple of months back, six, we'll say five months back even, and uh, I would have had, I, I had a, a different outlook on the game. I, I, I saw it kind of dwindling down. It wasn't doing so well. You know, a lot of people were leaving. Like 6.0 came out and um, we went to the, we were at the Players Council. We got to try, you know, the, the new, it was an unfinished version, 6.0. And what we played was actually really good. I really liked it. I mean, it was unfinished, of course, but I really liked it. And I thought it was just like, this is great. They had big plans for racing rivals I was like this is great because this is like gonna do wonders this is gonna do wonders for my youtube channel like i can't wait and then like 6.0 dropped and well no pun intended it dropped like a lead weight it just you know it just sucked it just like i watched the day the update came out which was like late october october 30th maybe maybe it was like the day before halloween i think it was the 30th and I watched, I watched my stats on YouTube go from like, I was making, uh, I was getting like, what was it? Like 40,000, um, anywhere 20 to 40,000 views a day, which was just insane. Blew my mind. I was like, I, I, I never really ever thought I could do something like that, but, uh, it went from like that much down to like, it cut it in half. Like it just dropped. It keeps dropping. And like to this day, like it's still, it hasn't, it obviously it's never recovered. I've never gotten back to where it was, but like right now I'm just kind of hovering and like, it's slowly starting to increase. Um, as the game, people are coming back as, uh, carbonated takes over. Like, and that's one thing we, the, uh, the summit, like I really, really got a like um, a positive feeling about the game for the first time in a while. Like the guys at Carbonated really have like they have their shit together. Basically, they they're um, they they like they not they don't like the game. They love the game. Like this is their passion. You know, they work day in and day out sun up to sun down and later uh like just doing everything they can to make sure this game succeeds and uh when i saw that firsthand when we went out there i really at that point in time i had like i i could kind of breathe a sigh of relief because i was like wow okay so this game isn't gonna just fade away and die like right away um you know i I, for a while there, I was really kind of scared that it was, and I was like, you know what, I, I if that's the case, like, I either A, got to do something about my YouTube channel now, I kind of have to make a transition and do something different with it, so it doesn't die, or I have to um, just let it go and, you know, say that's it, you know, like, done with YouTube, basically. If Racing Rivals died, my channel would die. So that's why I started doing all these different subscription box openings. I'm going to do more live streaming. And like I have the studio downstairs, which um, really coming along. Really awesome. But like I'm going to have friends come over and like I'm going to we're going to play video games. We're going to drink beer. We're going to talk like all kinds of stuff. Like I have some of the funniest friends like in the world. Like we just die laughing like i cannot i lose my i just i lose it dude like some of the stuff that comes out of these guys mouth you're like what the hell is this and it's like it's so hilarious so i'm like i'm trying to do everything i can like right now like i do have a positive feeling about the direction of racing rival 
rules. But then at the same time, I think, well, it is a game. And all games have a shelf life. So I either ride the wave until it just fades away or I make some transition now and try to prepare for, you know, the future of my channel, which I'm going to do both. I'm going to like focus in on racing rivals, do a lot more videos, a lot more live streaming, but really do other stuff as well. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. My biggest goal, and you mentioned it for you, I want to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Like that's where I want to, that's like, I want to just hundred thousand. You know, I think that would be, uh, that's my big goal right now. And you get that really cool YouTube play button. Have you ever seen that? Oh yeah, that's like, that's cool. It's right there. I really want one of those in my room. Yeah, like I, I, if I ever get one, it's going to go right up on my wall in my studio, like right behind where I sit. And, uh, that is like my big goal right now. So if you guys could help me out, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel if you know some people who play the game and they haven't subscribed tell them about my channel tell them to subscribe let's spread the word i want to try to get a hundred thousand subscribers uh while you're at it uh definitely i'm gonna put it in the chat again uh, i'll put it in justin i'm gonna put your link to your youtube channel in the link the description of the video here so um that way people are list i should have said this earlier i'm sorry it totally slipped my mind um but i'm gonna put it here uh first thing it's right at the top is good for this video right here is your youtube channel uh definitely check it out subscribe um great great content um it keeps me occupied for a long time that's for sure i have a attention span that's uh i have a memory that rivals a uh like a goldfish man i like two seconds i'm like huh? what was i talking about what so <laughs> but i definitely watch your channel i love your videos uh i don't even know i don't even know how i found your channel i think it was just like one of those um recommended videos you know you see on the side of youtube when you're watching stuff and it said recommend and i check it and i'm like yeah and like within just a few minutes like what do you do do you just like ad lib you just when you're racing you just talk about whatever or you like you don't have a script obviously right no i just wing it like yeah i don't know i just got to the point where i could commentate about like these random things or whatever's on my mind i pretty much speak and i guess that worked out yeah i did see a video one of your videos um i don't know it was a couple it was a little while ago but you were in the lobby or maybe i was in the lobby with you i don't know but i think it was in the video you were how you were like going at it with somebody in the lobby you guys were going back and forth taking shots at each other i was like oh man <laughs> You, do you find yourself, uh, uh, are you at like, because uh, I know like, I, I, not so much lately, but yeah, I do from time to time. Like when I first started, like people hated me, hated me, dude. They were like, I can't believe you're giving away like all my secrets to this car. You're telling people how to drop it, how to launch it, where to shift, all this. And they were like, they hated me. So I'm in a lobby I'm, and like people were just like pissed at me they're taking shots at me left and right this and that and i'm just like hey man like sorry this is what i do like do you do you find you're like a bit an easy target for that type of behavior or does it kind of come and go because like for me lately it's been pretty mellow every once in a while i'll get somebody that really starts trying to get their 15 minutes of fame but uh what do you do you do you Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
just uh I, I remember back in the day like and i won't even recap half of it but like man there have been some comments people have made like i have very thick skin like i can take anything and just brush it off i don't care it's not really not gonna affect me much but man there were a few comments here that even got under my skin i go wow how could how could somebody say that about anybody a stranger like these were like downright just crude just crude savage comments gone man like hey i'm a stranger you don't know me i've never done anything to you but like some of the things you go wow like who gets off saying that like who has that who has the audacity to just say something like that to a stranger it's like come on man like how does that where do these people get this shit i don't i don't get people sometimes really yeah like and dude right here telling people to suck his butthole. I'm like, all right, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah. I'm just like, you know what? I, I'm all about it. I can laugh. I see. I love, I love crude ha humor like this. But, man, come on, man. Come on. When you start spamming stuff like that, like once in a while, it's funny. It's cool. Like, Dirty Hammer, he he gets away with a lot here because he's a good guy. He can say a lot of stuff, and I'm not going to ban him. I'm not going to delete his comments. He uh, <laughs> He's a good guy, but, uh, man, there's a lot of people that are just like, they don't know me, they don't know, they just say stuff, and they just like, they're doing it for the attention. So I'm like, I, I don't have much, uh, I don't have much, um, uh, tolerance for that really so you know whatever <laughs> but dirty hammer he can get away with it <laughs> oh pig pen loves me he says yeah <laughs> hammer doesn't love me though he calls me gay all the time and cleans me who is this hammer. oh oh hammer. <laughs> he's a garage cleaner is he What's, uh, let's talk about cars, like racing, like making videos. What are some of the worst, like the most expensive, like, or what are some of like the worst races you've had? Like whether it was like just a bad race altogether or like an expensive car you lost or something like that. Is there something that sticks out that you can talk about? Uh -huh. Like I was, I was new to it, and I had this Gallardo Super Ligera. Uh -huh. I was going against an Aventador, and like I dropped it perfect. Like I knew as soon as I dropped it, I'm gonna hit the launch. And then my PC decides to say, eh, "Screw you!" And then I lagged out, and like, oh my gosh, that that screwed up. I ran like a 7.9, and that guy ran like a flat seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I've had some where I've I've had some cars that I've lost. You know, I luckily I don't really. I mean, I I guess I've been lucky. I don't lose too many on um, whether it's live stream. I lost some today, but you know, I mean, we all lose cars. So I'm not gonna try to sit here and say, oh, I don't lose cars. Everybody loses cars. If you race pink slips, it's bound to happen pretty frequently. You know, but uh, some of the like. Um, I guess last time I was live streaming, and who was it? I raced, uh, it's a guy, oh, Blacktop Bully. Um, and I was testing, I, I was, they just updated the game, and when you're in the test track, you didn't, they changed it, you don't get um, engine damage. So I was confused, I'm like, why am I not getting engine damage? I'm like, this is weird. So as I'm live streaming, I go into a lobby, and I'm racing to see if I get, engine damage i was like maybe there's something screwed up here well anyways blacktop bully he's in his uh mazda what is that a 787b which i really because i don't i shouldn't have done it 
because I was on my iPad on my PC and I usually I get the worst lag. I had a like a tenth of a second RT. If I would have had a decent RT, I think I would have won if I remember correctly. But and I'm not making excuses, you know. But I sh I probably shouldn't have done it because I was live streaming and I had that you know delay. So he challenged me for pinks and I'm a sucker for pinks. I can't say no. Like I love them, man. I do. It just ah like a junkie. But um. He he uh, he challenged me for pinks and I said I sat there. I think I sat there for a few seconds contemplating. Gone. Well, I can't check it out, man. I I'm on live stream. I can't check it out. It's not gonna happen. So boom, I went for it and uh, well, it was a dime racer AMG GT3 and I lost it. You know, and it happens. I mean, that's not really the most expensive car in the world, but it's a. I don't think you can get it anymore. It's vaulted. It's a damn good car. Um, you know. But it happens. You lose cars. Uh, I've had some other ones, man. Uh, I forget what it was. I had a really awesome car that I used in a video. And I was like, oh, it was the NSX uh, RR. And it was way back in the day. And it was one I used in a video. And I was like, this is my prize car. This is in the video, you know. And I'm in a lobby. And somebody challenges me for pinks. And once again, I'm a sucker for pinks. I went for it and I lost it, you know, it happens. But I was like, after I regretted that, I was like, man, that was like the one car, like I used in the video. It was a decent car. Like, you know, I should have kept it, but I didn't, I lost it, but you know, it happened. So, uh, you know, what can you do about it really? So, <laughs> attached to cars there's a few cars i really have there's like my uh there's a few cars that'll never leave my garage um but uh you know i do get attached and there's a few that i i get attached to but like i said i jump into a lobby and somebody uh uh challenges me i don't know what we're doing dirty hammer we just racing what's up <laughs> um but yeah you get attached to cars and you lose them and you go oh, well you know you kind of move on Ooh, I fouled yeah. out. No, did I foul? We both fouled out. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Let me look here. Does he... It's just pig pen, join. <laughs> All right. Are we... What are we doing? Are we racing? <laughs> so, uh, Hot Pepper Gaming shout-outs. Uh, what's Hot Pepper Gaming? I want to know what that is. Sounds cool. But, uh... Uh, so I need some ideas for like videos. Where do you get your ideas? Do you just kind of just pop in your head? What are we doing, yeah, Hammer? Just whatever comes into my head, like usually mm -hmm. when I'm um, about to go to bed at night and I can't sleep, I'm kind of an insomniac because I like I like eating before I go to bed for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm still like super thin for some reason, but yeah, I'm like well, I'm just sitting there trying to fall asleep. I think of different. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much where all my ideas come from. Uh, so I guess this might be for a, uh, a giveaway here, another car. So yeah, I don't know. I like, I try, I'm, I'm, uh, 
I'll be honest, I do my research. I go through different YouTube channels and I watch videos and like I don't want to take anybody's ideas by any means. Like if they have a really cool idea, definitely I'm not going to just go, "It hey, that's mine, I'm taking it." But I do get inspiration. Like I watch like if I figure if I'm watching one of your videos or one of Jerry's videos or um you know, I go through the list. I got all my, I got all my, you know, the, the the usual racing rivals YouTubers, and I go through their videos. And um, if I, I fear if I'm watching their video and I'm excited about it, I'm interested. Well, then it's a good idea, right? I mean, maybe I could tweak it a little bit and change it, you know, or use something like if it's worth. Uh, if they're racing um, a Mitsubishi Evo Eight, then maybe I could race do whatever concept they have and do a different car or like me and jerry had a really good i uh we had a good video and we did a collaboration like uh, a few years back um and we we should be we tried to do another one and it just never really worked out like timing and just kind of like one of those things like he does his thing and i'm doing mine and like hey we should do this you know we brought we talked about it a few times but we did the uh the budget racing which was really cool um so that might be something like I'd like to try to do again. Like maybe like I know we're live streaming now, but like maybe um, after we get off the we're done with this live stream, we could talk about ideas and maybe do a collaboration, like an actual like a racing something in game we can uh, do. Uh, Juan, yeah, real quick, but I don't want to interrupt. But Juan Cruz, uh, this is at least a couple times he said it. I've seen it. Uh, he wants to me to th tell you that he loves your videos like i saw it up here he uh what he said it a few times he really likes your videos uh i'm not the only one who enjoys your videos man they're really good so guys definitely yeah, chuck definitely check out uh justin's uh youtube channel here i'm gonna copy and paste it in the comments again you guys can check it out uh really good content really good videos they're entertaining uh his ability to uh, talk his dialogue far exceeds my ability by light years. So uh, I, I definitely I tune into yours and watch just because I really like it. They're entertaining. So um, you know, there's that. Um, whew, man, how long we've been? Forty one minutes, man. Time just keeps flying. So uh, yeah, it's flying. It doesn't feel like that for sure. Uh, thanks, Dirty Hammer, for that. R S R E. I'll probably end up uh, giving that away too. So I have this this lime green one here with these golden wheels or whatever they are. I don't even know what kind they are. They're just showroom wheels. But I'm going to be giving this car away. This was the last car that I won in earlier uh, my live streaming episode earlier today. The very last car. So I'm going to give it away to one lucky viewer. Um, in a little bit, we'll join a lobby. Uh, you join me. Um, you may, you may win it, you may not, but somebody will win it and somebody will take it and sell it, keep it, race it, lose it, whatever you want with it, man. It'll be yours. And, uh, I like doing giveaways. I like giving cars away. The one thing I don't like, and do you get this a lot? Do you get people that constantly bombard you? Like, give me a car. I want a car. Can you, can you help me out with a car? Do you get that a lot? I like started making my videos it's like people so they didn't have to do that like I make the video so people can um, you know, win the cars basically they can 
know how to race them. They can get these. If they want a car, they can go out and they can win it on their own. Um, I saw so many people get scammed. Like, I can't tell you how many countless times people got scammed and they lose their cars. And, like, I really hated that. And I was like, well, if I make these videos, then people can go out and win them and they don't have to rely on trading and buying and selling and cut that whole aspect out of the game that they don't have to, so they don't have to worry about that. You know, that's just getting scammed sucks. Like it really does. I think everybody's been scammed at least once. Um, uh, <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to tell him okay. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm just going to read some comments and we'll talk to people. Uh, Jamal here says, I've been playing Racing Rivals for, for five years, and this is the first two uh, YouTubers who sat and talked about their awesomeness and failures. Well, we fail a lot. I fail a lot, I'll be honest. Like, um, I sit there and I'll race a car and I'll practice, I'll practice, I'll practice, and, uh, you know, go on to a lobby and I think I'm on the zone and I race somebody and something happens, I either foul out, I miss the launch, and, you know, I could race a car for hours and hours straight, you still have bad races, you know, and you lose cars, and that's just the way it is, like, I'm not perfect, I'm definitely not the best racer out there, there's some good racers, like, earlier today, I lost on the live stream, I lost two cars to the same guy i lost a car to him and i a little bit later on i went back and raced him again i go hey i'm not afraid to race him i win i lose whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and uh that's just the way it is um it happens so uh it would be a good idea to get rid of global chat like that's one of the things we talked about at the player summit they uh we talked about global chat we may get rid of it we you know i mean not we like I'm, i don't have a say guys i'm just a you know but i mean we did talk about it like getting rid of it it's just uh it's a cesspool of you know some of the worst aspects of the game all wrapped up into one and um really doesn't I don't think it really adds anything to the game. Global chat is hostile as fuck. It is, Platinum Viper. That is the statement, understatement of the year. Like, man, you just go to global chat and it's just a cesspool of people buying, selling, scamming. You name it, it's in there. We've all seen it. So um, I would really like to see global chat like axed from the game get rid of it there's really no need for it um there's other ways to get um there's other ways to get people to communicate and to connect better than global chat you know we could use the forums i don't know anybody here use the forums i do uh, I, I admit i don't go on the forums as much as i should um yeah global chat is a cancer <laughs> uh it is a joke Jose says it's a joke. True, it is. Um, it's sad because global chat has potential, but no one can be mature. The master, that is totally true. Like, I hate to see global chat go because it does have potential. Like, new players, that's one way new players can connect to the game. Unfortunately, they connect to the wrong people through, through global chat. Like, that's unfortunate. Um, if there was a way to connect people to the positive uh, groups in the game that can actually teach people the tricks of the game and help improve their game. Justin, you back? I'm just talking about how global chat has potential um, in a way where it can connect people to positive aspects of the game. Positive people, positive groups to help improve their game. But no, global chat really... It, it's bad. Oh, it's bad news. <laughs> so. I've seen so many people get scammed in the global chat. I, I don't like it at all. The idea of it was pretty. I don't know what was going through the developers' heads, but that was that was a really stupid idea. Yeah. I mean, I think it had. Um. All. They had the best intentions when they set it up, um, but it just didn't quite hit the mark. Um, hey, Pig, uh, would you remind me putting my new channel out there on your stream? Oh, oh no, I don't. I wouldn't mind. Um, you can just uh, copy paste your channel right here in the the chat. 
Jamal. Um, yeah, I'm always about helping out and promoting uh, any other YouTube channels that I can. If uh, oh, you're leaving, Dirty Hammer. We didn't even get any dirty jokes from you. I didn't see any dirty jokes from you, so you can't leave until. You... Yeah, I think he's like. Uh, Maybe he's medicated tonight or something. Doctor put him on some special meds where he he's all mellowed out. <laughs> all right, Chaotic. I will join you. Um, Chaotic has a car. Is this for a, uh, uh, a giveaway, Chaotic? Let me join you. Let me find you. Yeah, um, I'd like to see him come back, but the problem is, well, we all know what the, they, they were exploiting the hell out of tournaments. Like, if they could find a way to keep them from being exploited, um, then I would love to see him come back. Ooh, a Ferrari 550? Nice. What are we doing, Chaotic? Um, but yeah, I would love to see pink slips come back to the tournaments if, if they can secure it and make it, um, as hack free and exploit free as possible. Like, do they still have tournaments? I mean, <laughs> I haven't even... <laughs> Okay, so they're still there then, because I know um, I haven't done a tournament in at least a month now or so. Yeah. And I didn't know if, like, recently they got rid of them. Oh, I actually don't know if they got rid of them or not. But I, I used to use them for money. Like, I, would, I think I have, like, three tokens saved up for the last event. Yeah. That's an easy, like, ten mil right there. Yeah. Like, I have a ton of uh, tokens, too. I should actually... I mean, it's good money if, you know, you win first place, it's like 390k, something like that. Um, so, but, uh, you know, I'd love to see Pink Slips come back to the tournaments. I don't think it's going to happen just because of all the exploits. And that's one of the reasons they never... And I know people really really want a trading lot like a uh, like a you know used car lot something like that um, a lot of people really want one but um, I, I don't see it because what happened from what I hear Nitto had it and um, it was probably the, not only the biggest headache but that's how a lot of the uh, people were getting cars parts hacked and somehow they I, I don't know how it was done, but like they would go through and like if you traded, you got you could get somebody's ID number for their account or their car. I don't know what it was. I don't know how it worked, but they were saying you could be racing, and as you're racing, you're going down the track. All of a sudden, boom! Somebody steals your wheels, your car. Poof, no wheels. Like they just would go into your account and hack and steal everything. So that's like one of the reasons why they didn't want to do it um, was just because. Uh, because of that, like, they didn't even want to open up that avenue for people to exploit, so, but, yeah, there's, speaking of, like, what was it, people who really, like, get on your nerves, people like Rocket Bunny, yeah, the chat, yeah, like, people like him, the repetitiveness is what really gets you, and, yeah, like, Yeah. And, like, that was what got it to die? Yep. Something like that? Yeah, that's basically, like, I, I wasn't around for the days of Nitto, so I can't say for sure, but those were the things I've heard was, like, the fact that, uh, yeah, it was a backdoor for, like, sneaking into people's garages and stealing cars and parts and hacking their, whatever. I don't even know, like, the details, but I just know it's just not, like, that important to me. Like, I do like to know that people could buy and trade, safely without getting scammed but in a way it kind of ruins the game because the game is about 
competition. It's about going out there and you want a car, go get it, go earn it, go win that car. That That's yeah, what it's all exactly. about. And like when it comes down to like trading and buying, like there are more people that buy and trade than race. And it just really takes away that aspect of the game. Um, so I'm kind of for it in a sense where I don't want to see people get scammed. But at the same time, it takes away from the game. Like, you're not racing. You're not, you know. And that's why I made my video. So people, if they want a car, they know how to race it. They can go out and get a car. Like, I want um, a Cadillac. I know how to race it. I know how fast it goes. I'll find another car that's equal to it. And uh, I'll figure that car out. I'll go to a lobby and I'll find it. And um, I'll win it. And that's what I like. That's why I like the game. And when you put in the whole trading system, it just really, that whole aspect of the game kind of dies. You know, there's less people racing and going for pinks because they know they can just go trade for the car. It's not as exciting. It really isn't. Like, I like the excitement of racing rails. I love the, the adrenaline. I tell you what, it's it's tough to race, but I love when my hand, I, the adrenaline's going to my hands are shaking. Like, I had a... BM, I think it was the BMW tournament with Sam Crow Racing, and that last, it was like five rounds or something. There were a lot of people, and uh, that last round, man, my hands were shaking because of the, the adrenaline going through me, and I love that. That's what keeps me playing the game. If it was just buying, trading, and selling, there's no excitement in that. I'd be done within a week. I'd find some other game that gets me going, you know? Yeah, for sure. Let's go back in. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Speaking of that, didn't you uh, say something earlier today? You were like, hey, Pigpen, why don't you go play some Minecraft? And I said, huh, huh, I won't forget that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think that, that was you. Evo X uh, Turf War video? Like, uh, I don't know. You beat some guy by a lot and you got higher than your like, go back and play some Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> that made me laugh a lot. Yeah, I love. Uh, just every now and again, I get like a, a moment of like a flash of like it, something that's just like, boom, like that's lightning in a bottle. I got to say it. And it just comes out of my mouth like before I even really have a chance to think about it. I'm like that was damn good. So, uh, but it doesn't happen too often. But when I do, it's good. So, uh, but yeah, you used that line on me earlier and I was like live streaming. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. So, uh, I don't know. Um, what other aspects of YouTube? I'm trying to think. Uh-oh. I'm low on battery. Uh-oh. I might have to actually wrap. Why is this not charging? This should be charging, huh? <laughs> not charging. Not charging. Well, uh, I'm probably going to have to wrap this up soon because my iPad is going to die. That is so sad. That is sad. Well, uh, we probably have like maybe 10 minutes or so. Uh, we'll try to wrap this up. Oh, well, let me, while we're bullshitting here, BSing, sorry, I'm going to, I got to be PC. Uh, while we're BSing, I'm going to join a lobby. What's the key word? I got to give this car away. This is the car that I won um, on this afternoon's live stream. Uh, this is the last car. You can see it. If you haven't seen it, you go check it out. Um, let's see. Hey, I have a perfect, um, thing to say for the giveaway. Okay. So something to do with Gamer X. Uh-huh. You know, because he thinks it's funny to say crap about me. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. You guys in the chat should find something to say about Gamer X. Okay. That'll be the giveaway thing. All right, so you guys hear let's that. Let's see what you guys do. Um, you guys can be as creative as possible, whether it's... Uh, positive, negative, uh, Gamer X, he says. And I can see right there, he says, Justin, go suck some dick. And that's what he's saying in the... <laughs> so, let's be creative, guys. I'm going to join a lobby, and you got to use the name Gamer X. Um, and I don't mean to pick on Gamer X, never met him before, but when somebody starts, you know, saying all kinds of stuff like that in the chat and being uh, bringing uh, negative attention to themselves... You know, negative attention really comes around, and it, uh, you know, what goes around comes around. So uh, I'm gonna join a lobby. Um, anybody who's got something to say, Gamer X, um, 
you're going to have a chance to win this car. So I'm in the lobby. You guys can find me. You can join me. This car is maxed out. It's a 1681 or an 82. Ooh, and I'm in an empty lobby. So there's going to be plenty of room for people to join. So join me. Make a comment, say something about Gamer X, whether it's positive or negative. You guys don't have to be bad. You guys can say Gamer X, whatever, X, Y, Z, whatever you want. Um, but you have a chance to win this car. This is one of the last, this was the last car that I won in um, today's live stream. So I'm going to sit here and uh, we'll see if anybody has anything positive or negative to add to the conversation. <laughs> So, um, this will be pretty interesting. Yeah, to say the least. And I don't really do this. I don't like singling anybody out. But man, when somebody brings attention to themselves like that because they want a shout out, yeah, there you go. There's your shout out. Like somebody's so desperate for attention that they'll make an ass out of themselves and like embarrass. And like I'd say embarrass themselves, but most people they just over their head they don't even understand what embarrassment is like they're embarrassed but they don't even get it so uh let's just uh read these comments and have some fun here keep it uh keep it good guys my uh, ipad is probably down to like seven percent right now uh free oj simpson <laughs> <laughs> that's funny funny name gamer do stands for the gamer gamer x gamer x oh so sleeps with pandas that's an odd one do you see that one so he says gamer x sleeps with pandas <laughs> are you even trying that is bizarre what's where does that come from so uh Yeah, so Gamer X was some sort of comment here. Who is Gamer X? Do you know him? Is he something? Uh, I have no clue. Never heard of him before, huh? Just uh, some guy looking for some attention here. He's lonely and wants some attention from the internet. I mean, there's other ways to get attention on the internet. Let me tell you. I don't know if my uh, I don't know if my live stream is probably the best place for that. So, uh, Platinum Viper says it's his ex. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, are you even trying I think he might get this with uh, Gamer X sleeps with pandas just because it's so bizarre and he's he's doing a good job there's another one uh, Slick Chamber uh, Pigpen I need help I'm barely um, barely starting huh. well all right, so are you even trying? Oh, he's on my team. I knew that name sounded familiar. I don't know if I can give you the car, man. Actually, I'll give you it. I'll give you the other. Damn it. Justin, you got to help me out. Is it fair to give him a car because he's on my team? Or should I give it to someone else? Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, Gamer X uh, sleeps with pandas. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you even trying? Uh, if we can, if I can race you, raise pinks, get this car, have some fun, and uh, I don't know what's going on. I can't connect with him. So, uh, we'll get him his car. So, we have uh, just a few minutes left here. So, um, you want to give your channel a shout out again? Um, Tell people what it is. Tell them a little bit about it. Uh, how to find your channel. With you know, uh, we'll take this opportunity. Uh, yeah, just um, if you want to find my channel, just search up. I mean, if you can't spell my last name, just search up Justin Racing Rivals. I'm pretty sure you'll find um, something with me. Yeah, you'll find me from there. Um, or I'll paste the link in the chat as well. Mm-hmm. You no. guys want to check my channel out from there. So for most people who... Oh, I spun. Uh, for most people who um, have never seen your 
videos. What what what, are, what kind of videos do you do? Do you do a lot of like pink slips? Do you do a lot of tutorials? Do you do a lot of what 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 do you do? So kind of give people. Much, all, I, all I do on my YouTube channel is um, just pinks. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do that really can entertain people. Mm -hmm. and, um, maybe occasionally I'll upload a Forza video, or if I get a turf car that's new, I'll review it. But pretty much my channel is based off of pinks. Okay. So I'm gonna put that back up in the uh, the chat here. Another. Um, Another link to it. Oh, I got a foul out. Hold on. Um, there you go. Congratulations. Uh, are you even? Is it? Are you even trying? Uh, enjoy your Ford Focus RSRE. Um, man. So I'm gonna do some more live streaming. I know this is gonna get this is getting to get cut short here because my iPad's not. Uh, it's ready to die at any second, actually. But uh, I'll definitely have you on as uh, if you want. I'll have you on as a guest again here in a, you know a couple weeks or so if you're interested or whatever. We get our um, we'll it will maybe we'll do like a collaboration, another video like a challenge or something. We'll we'll come up with some sort of idea. So uh, yeah, for sure. Excellent. So um, well. Uh, once again, for those of you, uh, this is uh, fellow YouTuber Justin Hamadi. Um, definitely check out his YouTube channel. Uh, type in Justin Racing Rivals. You'll find it. Um, there's a link in the description of this live stream. Uh, the very top link is to his channel, so it's easy for you to find it. Um, good stuff, guys. Uh, definitely, definitely check it out. Justin, uh, thanks for joining me. Um, really enjoyed our chat. Uh, fortunately, it's going to get cut short here, but uh, we've been on for about an hour now, so uh, we'll have you on again. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have a little bit more, a few topics we'll talk about, a challenge or something. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. I think the uh, I, I really like your videos, and um, I think you got a lot of potential, and I, I just... Uh, Keep up, keep up the good videos, man. I enjoy watching them. Thanks, Big Ben. I really appreciate it. All right. So, um, all right, guys. That's uh, Justin Hamadi, uh, fellow YouTuber. I'm Big Pen, the one and only. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again real soon with another perfect launch tutorial. And make sure to hit those notifications. Turn them on so you don't miss any of my live streaming videos. See you soon. Take care.